There are many, many Pokemon, and along with that, there's a lot of types to said Pokemon. With that many Pokemon, there has to be a select few, the strongest of the bunch, the CREAM OF THE CROP! NOBODY DOES IT BETTER! With that, we're going to be naming off of the top 10 strongest Pokemon of their select type. This is going to be based off of mostly Pokemon itself and not from a competitive standpoint, but there will be instances of competitive if need be. I'm going to be removing box cover legendaries, or legendaries in general actually, to let the others shine, but at the same time, these are only going to be final evolutions. That being said, let's get into the list. At number 10, coming in at 7 feet and 195 pounds generally, for Alligator. For Alligator moves slowly as it comes out of the water, and when there's really no objective for it, but when there's prey, this Pokemon moves at blinding speed. Once it gets to its prey, then it's probably gonna die. It bites onto its prey and then shakes its head and starts to tear up the prey like it's a ragdoll. I believe that most for Alligators would be around the same strength as a for Alligator that threw that Blastoise like a rock to a window. Number 9, Pokemon 693, Clawser, the Howitzer Pokemon which is a short gun for firing shells at a high trajectory at low velocities. Clotzer's giant claw can pierce the holes of a tank, moving at almost 70 miles per hour. With a team of Clotzer's, you can fight an army with just using Water Pulse, and along with that, a shot from this Pokemon could donut any Pokemon with this type of power. He also has the ability of Mega Launcher, so that explains the piercing power. Number 8, Samurott. This Pokemon alone had max potential to be a better Pokemon when transitioning from the original Black and White 2. Although he doesn't have the best use in competitive play, his dex entry does indicate that he does end Pokemon with a fell swoop of one of his semitars that are attached to the front of his legs. And along with that, the Pokemon has a reputation among other Pokemon to where its glare alone will silence everyone in the room. Number 7, Glissopod. With a flashing slash of its giant sharp claws, it cleaves seawater or even air right in two. If you're not sure exactly what cleave means, imagine a cleaver and then there's a big old chop. To do so underwater, you have to be moving at a pretty ridiculous speed to do so. Speed leaving a sharp cut of air underwater is like a bullet being shot. Number 6, Blastoise and Mega Blastoise. Blastoise alone is a pretty strong Pokemon, but taking those giant cannons on his back into consideration just to continue to boost him up even further, those cannons blow holes right through steel and it makes itself heavy to withstand the recoil of the water jets it does fire. So along with blowing itself back, it has to fight Pokemon while shooting, and it stands with what should be double the force depending on what Pokemon it's fighting though. These cannons have disgusting precision, with being able to strike cans over a distance of 160 feet. With becoming Mega Blastoise, the cannons become one but double in power. It has a blast range of 6 miles too, with the same attributes of precision from before. Blastoise can also retreat into its shell and launch itself with its water jets. Along with that, it can shoot the powerful water from every hole of the shell when it's retreated. A ridiculous powerhouse to not be slept on. Number 5. Swampert and Mega Swampert, and I really, 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 really wanted to be biased with this mod. I really did, because I'm pretty sure it's blamed that I love this Pokemon, or well, the evolution line of Pokemon. I mean, look at my banner icon. Swampert is very strong. It has enough power to easily drag a boulder weighing more than a ton. This Pokemon also has vision to let it see even in murky water. It can swim while towing a large ship. It can also bash down foes with a swing of its arms. Mega Swampert in specific fills the organs on its back with air before diving underwater or battling and then uses the pressure to increase the power of its punch. I mean it's pretty obvious that Mega Swampert's strong, I mean look at him. Number 4, Greninja and Ash Greninja. Greninja moves with the speed and grace of a ninja, using swift movements to confuse its enemies while it slices them up with throwing stars made of compressed water. These throwing stars are sharp enough to split metal. Ash Greninja's leg strength has been enhanced compared to any other ordinary Greninja, making it difficult to see because of the speed that it can move. It takes its enemies out in a flash, it becomes able to make a giant water shuriken on its back and then throw them in rapid succession. That means these are back to back water shurikens except way bigger and mean way stronger than before, so with these alone, you can turn Octillery into Calamari. Number 3, Kingler, a pincer Pokemon whose claws pinch with the power of 10,000 horsepower. That's 7.5 million watts of power from that pinch, meaning that's 5,500,000 foot-pounds force per second. Imagine these claws crushing you, and I'm pretty sure that these can even break a cloister shell with enough time. If you want to compare it even deeper, tell me why Krabby alone has more attack than all of these water types. There's not many Pokemon that can even match up to Kingler's sheer force. 
I know, I know you saw that. I, I know you thought of that. Look at that. See? Because it's sheer force. No? No. Um, sorry. Number two, wishy-washy. An individual wishy-washy is small and weak. The people of Alola still fear it and call it the demon of the sea. This Pokemon obviously in solo form will do nothing. Now, its school form is where it gets the name of demon of the sea. Its power multiplies to the point of where its deck says a water gun is some other Pokemon's hydro pump, meaning that Wishiwashi's lowest is some Pokemon's best. And that says a lot because this, this Pokemon is actually really strong in game and competitive wise. And to say that this Pokemon's water gun is some other Pokemon's hydro pump is pretty ridiculous when it's in the world of Pokemon, meaning only someone including game mechanics. But I'd say focusing more on the anime standpoint or just the world itself, excluding stats. Number one, Gyarados and Mega Gyarados. I'm pretty sure you guys know Gyarados. This Pokemon alone was known for causing terror to not just Team Rocket, but to Pokemon towns back in the day, apparently. Rarely seen in the wild, huge and vicious, it has the capability of destroying entire cities in a rage. Brutally vicious and enormously destructive, known for totally destroying cities in ancient time. Extremely vicious and horribly brutal, has enough destructive power to annihilate even a major city. All of these entries are pretty crazy, especially when compared to the recent Pokemon we just went through. What finalized Gyarados alone for me was, once Gyarados goes on a rampage, its ferociously violent blood does not calm down until it's burned everything down. There are records of this Pokemon's rampages lasting a whole month. Now for its mega entry, it goes into its supersonic speed that it develops and now along with that, mega evolution also affected its brain, leaving no other function except its destructive instinct to burn everything to cinders. So with having all of that stamina, speed, and sheer power, the Pokemon itself just goes blank and it destroys everything possible. Congratulations Magikarp, you finally made it somewhere. That's gonna be it for now, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like or so. I didn't really have any honorable mentions because the other ones why I would include is just probably like, oh the other legendary Pokemon, the pseudos, but I couldn't find enough information like certain Pokemon like Manaphy for some reason. Like it's a very strong Pokemon competitive wise, but for some reason there was nothing behind it. It was just saying Prince of the Sea and that's all, so I'm just gonna leave it at that until now. If you guys have any information yourself, put them in the comments so I can see them and probably Think, rethink this whole thing you guys put your own top 10 in the comments of how you think they work and how strong they are or whatever and put the next type that you want to see featured i'm caleb thank you for watching peace out and godspeed